Um, so you guys are back. You got a new album. Yes. Yeah. How exciting is that for you guys? Oh, yeah. it's I mean, amazing. Amazing. orgasmic. Must, orgasmic. Okay. Is it? Is it? Like, how big of a deal is it to to come back to kind of take on music again? Big, I don't know if it's a big deal. I mean, the, the 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 best side of it was how much we enjoyed it. So, um, you know, I don't think. You know, when we're, we're, we're not at the age where we can kind of like jump up and down that stuff. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. what? This is good. It just feels good, and you yeah. guys are like, yeah. What do you, um, I just find it really interesting because you guys are like, you know, Tear Shapiro's a great band. We, we are. all listened to you when I was a totally. Yeah. Um, but what is it like to kind of perform for the, like, at, at an intimate venue? You've got like maybe 100 people out there. Yeah, 100, to, like, 100 people's not really that intimate. Okay. You know, I, so it's it's uh, I mean I just wish I had an electric guitar and I could jump around the stage go crazy but as it is my uh, support might not uh, <laughs> hold up in this old age of yours or something no, is that what you're saying it's the lumbago come on it's the rheumatism <laughs> yeah. setting in no, I, 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 yeah I'm, it's it's very strange because you know we're doing this acoustic thing and it's just uh, I can't wait just to kind of do the do it for real but it's still a, a really, I, I can imagine, and I'm going to talk to the fans down there as well, but I can imagine it's a really uh, important moment for them to kind of see you guys like this, you know? You know? Yeah, I think it's, it's very important for, the, for them to see that we're still alive, <laughs> you know, because of the rumors. What yeah. are these rumors? What are you talking about? Well, you know, a picture of Kurt with no shoes on crossing the Zebra Crossing on the Abbey, Abbey Road. Road. That one? Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the backwards Kurt is dead on the last album you did? Exactly. That one? Mm hmm Oh no! It was I wish Kurt was dead. All right. No. Oh, different thing. Yeah. Different thing. Different. Thing. Things are good now. Yeah. Yeah. Things are great. Yeah. You know, we're we're still enjoying it after yeah. you know. Well, this is our first day together after six months yeah, of being apart. Exactly. So. Oh really? No. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. It should be interesting. Um, we try and avoid each other outside of work pretty yeah. much. No. no, you don't. No, come on. No. No, come we actually on. go jogging together. Oh, really? Every morning. That's pretty romantic. Well, Roland jogs with me for about you know. 20 yards until I get <laughs> <in> behind <laughs> <laughs> You bastard! <laughs> How do you... When, you... when you guys wrote your music, I mean, it was... I mean, you guys... It was timely, it, it made sense, whatever. When you come out with... When you're writing stuff for, like, 2004, you writing yep. the airwaves, when you're writing, is it different? Are you like... Oh. Yeah, totally. I mean, what, what was exciting? I mean, I think, you know, both Kurt and I in the 90s sort of tried to avoid pop music in many, many, many ways. We was kind of more... Um, interested in satisfying ourselves because we we had all these big choruses and which drove us crazy touring for so long mm -hmm. and what's been fascinating is getting back together and sort of rediscovering that you can still write pop songs and that 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 is really uh, it's been fantastic and do you think the music stands up the new music or mm -hmm. old music Ab new music absolutely the old music yeah, definitely yeah. stands up i think this yeah i think this no, is the I mean, best this album. is this is the best album we've made w without question i think Wait a minute, are you just saying that? I mean, no, yeah. no, no. Well, no, he no. is. I don't. See, I think it's a bit, he doesn't actually like it. Why, why would you, why, why? Uh, no, it you is. You had some great albums. Yeah, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's just something about experience and this was so easy to make. Um, we, will, we always struggled in the past and I know we had very big hits, but there was, there was just something about, um, something so satisfying about being totally in control, a master of your own ship. It's nice to see you guys back. How important is it for you guys to do these things? To have like these little, because I know you've got all these TV and radio appearances kind of going. Well, I guess this is, you know, this is that there are people out there that are really happy to see you. And it's, it's, it's bizarre because you forget. But you see the smile and faces and people are beaming in the audience. And uh, it's very satisfying. Okay. You? What he said? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he said. Whatever he said. Whatever he said. Are you guys planning? I mean, this is going to run and people are going to, we missed Tears for Fears. Like, this <clears> is a private concert. Are you guys going to come back and like sell tickets so people can actually come and see yeah, you? Yeah, as I said, we'd, we'd really like to come come back and do this properly. Would you have an idea of when? A big yeah. band. Is there, I mean, if uh, we have a tour, it will be in the summer. Oh, really? Yeah. For like this year then? Oh, yeah. 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 No, that's hardcore. Okay. It's hardcore. It is very hard. Well, we are indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Hardcore. I can hardcore. tell. Hardcore. 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 Persona, I'm feeling that, the, the toughness. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's good. I'm great. Thank you very much. Do you guys want to mention anything else? Anything else going on? The album is called Everybody Loves a Happy Ending. This is album April. number seven, right? Seven or eight. I don't know. Nine, ten. Ten. So, but there's a greatest hits on top of that, right? Okay. Oh, who knows? Okay. Yeah. And it's out in April? Single's April. already out on the radio? Single's out, on, released on radio. Okay. Closest thing to heaven. Closest thing to heaven is that. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Sean. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you.
when you said this look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I was excited to get the ticket. Hey everybody, the, uh, the band that you've all been waiting for, Tears for Fears, will be performing in just a few moments. So, the food will still be there if you guys want to sit down and then as soon as they perform, get back up and eat because obviously this is a, a once in a lifetime experience for a lot of you that are here that were really excited about this so they would, you know, like you to actually be able to see the show instead of be thinking, oh my god, when's my turn to eat? When's my turn to eat? So they'll be up here in just a few minutes. Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to add. Alternative 100.5 to so. Hey, I get to start this time. No doubt the sleep train ever can be June 21st. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out to the zones. One on one concert number eight. Pardon my cold. I think I'll let Sean do most of the talking. Well, I know that a lot of you are very excited about this because we had people crying. We had people that were just losing it, trying to win tickets to this. This is a, a very unique experience, an intimate performance with a band that you guys are obviously familiar with, a band that has uh, put out a ton of hits. This is the second time that they have performed in 10 years. So this is a really big deal. They've got some great new stuff. You're going to have to check out their brand new album. But ladies and gentlemen, a big zone welcome for Tears for Fears. Thank you very much. How's the pasta? that some kind of code we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, songs from a brand new album which is out in April called everybody loves a happy ending and if you're really really good we'll crack open an old tune <laughs> this uh, first song is the title track everybody loves a happy ending Here we go. Okay. Tell you on the phone to give you got a 
smelling good to me. Yes, a new album, new songs. It's very exciting for us. And they're very easy to remember, which is nice. Um, That's why you've got the lyrics written down. <laughs> Change the lyrics every day. Every day, different lyric. Uh, we're going to do um, a song which you may want to sing along in the chorus and clap your hands because it will sound an awful lot better. <laughs> was originally recorded with a 36-piece orchestra and we haven't got one. So. <clears throat> High time, we need a stand We shook up the views of the common man And the love train, rise from coast to coast DJ's the man we love the most Could you be, could you be squeaky clean And smash any hope of democracy is the headline Says you're free to choose There's egg on your face and mud on your shoes One of these days you're gonna cut it the blues Yeah, yeah So in the seeds of love possible. When you're sowing the seeds of love So in the seeds so in their eyes to look to the skies for some kind of divine intervention food goes to waste so nice to eat so nice to taste politician granny with your high ideals if you no idea how the majority feels so about love and promised land the fools to the rules have a government plan kick out the style bring back the chair Seeds of love, sowing the seeds, sowing the seeds of love, the seeds of love, sowing the seeds, the birds and the bees, my girlfriend and me, in love, 
it's a need And the politics, oh yeah Of green Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen Thank you Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tears for Fears. All right, now. Up live, close, can't get any better. I have not felt like this since the birth of my children. Give me a break. I'm not kidding you. Come on. No, seriously. It's an exciting moment for these lucky fans. They're going to get an intimate show by 80s pop band, Tears for Fears. How can you not want to listen to anything they play? I don't know. I, I'm a Tears for Fears fan. I like Tears for Fears. I'm a fan. And what are your favorite songs? I really like Break It Down Again. That's Break a good it one. Down. You might love all the classic Tears for Fears tunes from the 80s, but the band is in town to promote their seventh album called Everybody Loves a Happy Ending. This is the best album we've made, without question, I think. Wait a minute, are you just saying that? Really? No, oh, yeah, no. Well, no, he is. <laughs> I don't. See, I think it's a but he doesn't actually like it. Why, why would you, why, why? Uh, no, it is you had some great albums. Yeah, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's just something about experience and this was so easy to make. They played three new tracks, but they had to drop in a classic. In the seeds of love, seeds of love, in the seeds of love. I mean, I just wish I had an electric guitar and I could jump around the stage, go crazy. It's very strange because, you know, we're doing this acoustic thing and it's just, uh, I can't wait just to kind of do the do it for real. Tears for Fears is planning on doing a full set in Sacramento later this year. But for these lucky listeners, this little sneak peek couldn't be any better. I was shaking. I'm like, and it wasn't because I was cold. It's because I was just like, oh my gosh. Because I've loved Roland ever since I was like 11. And I had posters all over my bedroom. And so it's like, yes, this is awesome. I mean, I'm going to be right here. 